pedal cut is off. Get some altitude. I'm just too jerky with the sticks. It's part of the problem. I, I'm kind of thinking in the turns, just a little bit of power. Mm -hmm. And then right there, if you just let off the sticks, it kind of sort of flies pretty perfect by itself. I mean, it's not like safe, you know, where it's level itself and stuff. You're doing pretty good, though. Really not. You really don't have to use the rudder or anything. Uh-uh. Because it's, I just touched the rudder. It well, started to go in a flat spin, kind of. What I really like, when it sounds kind of weird, seeing the wings kind of flex Flex, a little bit. yeah. The knot right end does it if you do it in like a loop or something. But. Well, I think I'll leave you to it. <laughs> you don't want to talk me into the landing here? <laughs> oh, well, I will. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. All right, well, say we're still got throttle on and now we're pretty off. high. Yeah, I'd go around probably. And just kind of barely touch the throttle to get around. That's what I do. And then just, you can kind of cut it there a little bit and mm -hmm. slide forever. And then I get pretty far down there because it'll float for a long way. Turn, get it close to the ground. But not on the ground nose first. Yeah, there you go. Go around. And then see, you've got another 200 foot to play with down there. Yeah. <laughs> so if you don't land right here in front of us, you still got a long way to go. I mean, I usually just kind of try and get a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Right there. So just kind of dip it down a little bit. And just let it float. Let it float on here. Good. Little, little nice. tip. That's nice. Rock on, baby. Thanks, Garrett.